But they say it not finish. Yeah, it have one next piece under the <laughs> I'm gonna be putting a little red label wine. I don't want them and them. Them always not chipping for do nothing for make it easier. This are I pretty girl, pretty yeah. baby. She's so shy. YouTube family, happy Sunday to you. I hope that you and the fam fam are having a beautiful day, are having a lovely Sunday, and that you are cooking up or you have already cooked up a storm. Me, I don't start cooking this year because I'm in a little sad mood. Quite a few Sundays back now, I've been in the country every single Sunday, but I have a little setback to this. So. I am at home. Some of us feel out of place. You know, most of the Sundays prior to now, you, see, you realize that I did go to St. Mary's for the vlogs that I gave you. But nevertheless, we are here. So what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going, I've cleaned out the freezer and I'm going to be cooking. Everything will be fine at Campbell. So come along, let me show you when it's that on So right here, this is a, um, this is a, Herbert fish, so I'm gonna find that fish. Go put it in our water. I got me a few little shrimp. Gonna be cooking all of these today. And this is chicken. This is chicken, but it's already been seasoned. This too is chicken. And this two little fishes. So I have fish, fish and fish, shrimp chicken that's where I go shrimp fish chicken so I got do a little clean out freezer cooking today everything on fact is I didn't I didn't I haven't been to the meat shop I have no meat I mean never plan to stay home today and cook nothing plan for go just eat the country road you get what I'm saying Tom but I found all those little meat with little packages in there so I have my peas here I've been soaking I have no vegetable. I'm not ashamed to tell you. I got no vegetable. Only canned vegetables. But we see as we go along. So I'm going to put my peas. To it's already soaked. So I'm going to put my peas to cook. And you know I'm going to pressure it as a Jamaican woman. Most of them pressure our peas nowadays. So I'm going to get these things rolling. So when you see me in the next clip, you will say, oh, never am Cleaning out the freezer. And cook it. Okay, now family. I'll wash. I properly drained though and when I drain some more, so I have my fish turbo. I have my cool cookie list for them. And I've got my shrimp over there. Everything has been washed, properly clean and washed. So I'm gonna be cleaning up now. So not sure what I want. I wanna do brown soupy. I wanna do a little um my girl one curry shrimp and never fry some chicken. And of course, yeah, you're going to pressure cook over the chicken. Just want to go do that. I think I'm going to make start making the curry paste. We make the curry curry paste. So I'm going to season the shrimp with it in there. I'm going to season this chicken for frying. This will look, this is never the last. And I'm going to get these all properly dry. This probably will want to have some more. And then I'm going to be brown stewing these. So I think I'll do with these the fish. On the outside, I in the kitchen. So, when they are seasoned up already, you know, catch your bag, clean out my freezer in order to do Sunday dinner. So, family, this is what I have all done. Did I say this was a turbo? Can I tell you something? I bought this fish for Dad's Father's Day dinner. But actually, on Father's Day, we went to St. Mary's. So, my hope say, you know, in can get him Father's Day dinner, be late. So, this is gonna be dad's fish. I mean, I'm not gonna probably care for none of the fried chicken and the shrimp. And then my two look okay, this one, remember we are clean out and we find them. So my shrimp is here, not over seasoned. And my chicken is here. And by the way, you know, um, when I use these, people come in the comment section, very demandingly, Tabby, why are you calling the prawn shrimp? 
If it is prawns, it's not my fault, fam. The bag says shrimp. So I always buy these because they're more economical to me. As a Jamaican woman, we are very known, then we can buy a pack of shrimp. And most time is to do a little video or camera girl feel like a chest eye. So most time we use it two or three times, yeah? Because my husband is not a fish shrimp eater. I'm not sure if Jaron, I'm not too fussy either. So it's not prawns, it's shrimp, okay? So I have here, I all seasoned up and I put a little tip of paprika to change the color of my chicken. Yes, so when I start cooking, I'll get back to you. Let me give you a little clip of what happened. My piece is finished. I've got my coconut milk being all prepped already. So when I see you again, the stove will be the stoves. Because I'm going to do the fish over in another kitchen that is more open. So that, you know, so the stoves will be running. Hello, family. I'm in the next kitchen, as I told you. And I'm going to try to do the fish them first. And then we'll go back in there. Let this big wire cut on smoke. So I bought, you know, them all the skin up and I wouldn't go. But you know the flight? And I skin up. You know the trick? Like if you're trying and you think right, right when the fish is on, it's just, um, you know, just, we in a Jamaica say skin up. It just, Full of light. You just add something, you just pull it down. So, and if you put that, you put a little lucky spar at them, they put it on. Yeah. Yeah. So, brown stew fish, it's gonna be. Put some more heat there. And I like that. While it's on the outside, we get that here. Did I wash out the glue? That's it, I know. Hi, hi, family, hi. Okay, I'm gonna see the pops then. I don't know where they are. And we got laundry going on. Ah, la, la. So I'll catch you in the next place. So, family. Waiting loud, they are now in it. It's loud. Can you see what happened? The turbo, it's not it enough, it fry nice, and the, on the other side, I come down the part. So, we think long there now. Simple means everything is okay, and the other two look work with one of them. Them nice, so we're gonna get them out and make them come, you know, kind of settle down. We're gonna take them out and let them cool off a bit, and then we're gonna be making the gravy. So, I'm gonna have to show you, I'm gonna have to show you, I'm gonna have to gravy. When you see me in the next clip, I'll be in another kitchen doing other meat and the rice and peas type of things. So this is the thing I get loud. And let me just pause here to say something. If it is that you're watching my this year my channel, you all know about my cooking channel. This is my family channel where we show you from time to time a little thing about our family as we go along. You'll see more, we'll get more in depth we're just taking our time, and then I have my other special channel, my Jamaican Debbie Straight channel, and we also have the Jamaican Mukbang, which you know, I appear on that channel as a guest, but that is Kimmy's channel. So if it is that you're looking for a Jamaican channel that does not offer the real, true Jamaican thing, I am so sorry, but I think you might be at the wrong channel. Because there are some people messaging me and saying, oh, the slang fatwa. What I want to say, I am a Jamaican. I am not ashamed of my real language. So from time to time, I'll talk it. But talk it more than on my chat English. So if it is that you're here and you're offended by fatwa talking, I am very sorry. But I just have to tell them, Mana Chat Patwa. This is who I am, this is my country, because guess what? I don't want to get to go skin. Hell, hell, and those go to tell all the fish are gone there, okay? And I like that. Then when you come, and then you say, Debbie, I am in Jamaica, can I visit you? When you come, they're going to hear me dip on the Patwa. Because when I tell her, well, that will, that will not be me. But this is who I am. So what you see here is what you get. I feel comfortable. 
as I have. And I know some of you are so comfortable. And I want to thank you for those that are here with us. Remember, you know, authentic Jamaican lifestyle. Have to have pat wine and it. Okay? And we're going back. We used to do some live pat what talking and translation. And we're going back to that on the Jamaican debit stream. Okay? So when you get, a, you hear the patwa, when you come, you will fall right in. You may not understand it, but if you come amongst us for a day or two, you will, you know, finally understand. I'm not saying you are to subject yourself to a channel that speaks patwa. But there are other Jamaican channels, they twang an American, and they speak, maybe sometimes they're talking even Italian, I'm not sure. But this is the channel if you want to subscribe, if you are looking and you're watching and you're waiting to say, me I'm not stop, me not subscribe to you stop that patwa. But you know, I'm very sorry. The patwa will have to be here. So I'll catch you in the next clip. Here with another clip just for you. So I'm getting the chicken oil thing. I'm going to fry my chicken. That's how I'm going to fry the I'm going to fry chicken foot. We'll talk about that in another video. And I like that nice, crispy Jamaican fried chicken. Right here, I've got my shrimp. Just Mellowing away in this curry piece. I'm gonna have little green scallions, yellow pepper, and green pepper. I'm gonna put it right there in it. So I'm gonna look at shrimp there, and it take time. I mellow it in the curry gravy, curry piece that I made. So, and you saw my fish, my finished brown stew fish in the earlier clip. This is my rice and peas in my pressure cooker. Uh -uh, like that is coming up to par and I am there and I know it's getting loud the dinner is getting it's getting nice it's getting beautiful come in could you please come in so may I go lower the flame now upon the local shrimp let me know and then when I see you in the next clip it will be the perfect time for you to see the final products that I have for me clean out the freezer and then it will also be the perfect time for our post notification channels we will not be eating, we will not be um, serving anything on this uh, video or vlog. We will be posting servings of our dinner on my Instagram. So if you are following me on Instagram, look out for some of my finished servings of my dinner. So when we come back next, I'll just show you all the finished products. Say so YouTube family. As the mother said, it's both land. Both land in Adebe kitchen. It's finally... Here. I told you we will not be dishing. I will do your serving on Instagram. Make sure you're following me so you can check out my post. So dinner will be served on Instagram. So I'll let me show you the finished products. So right here I've got my courage shrimp. I have my rice and peas and all of that. I've got some fried chicken and I've got the lovely brown stew fish. I haven't made any fried chicken gravy because Guess what? Brown stew, chicken, gravy today, and curry gravy today. I hope you have enjoyed this little cooking vlog with me today. Um, cleaning out my freezer to make Sunday dinner. Tell me what you know about that. Share with me how many Sundays you never prepare for dinner. Didn't go any shopping to get anything. So you had to resort to cleaning out the freezer. When the, 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 the kids said to me, Mom, what's for dinner? Came our girl was the first. I said, no, I'm not cooking any dinner because I haven't got any... Um, any protein type, any meat kind. So, you know, start sitting there, realize that, yes, I'm hungry, I got to take it over. So, 
we resorted to search in the freezer and I shared with you hope you did like it and we have gotten this this is dinner so I have did I say that I've got some lettuce and tomato here to make a little choppy choppy salad we're missing some good old Jamaican OTE eat apple drink tired might just do that today and I remind you we'll have food for serve for another probably until Tuesday from this okay come on girl when she's not sure so I hope you did enjoy and I'll let that eat with your eyes and remember to follow me on Instagram and to check out dinner will be served right there just for you and also it is the perfect time for post notification shout outs come on girl we'll do the honors all right so the first person is Sharon Gale big up yourself Sharon Gale your fam bam second one is Marsha Schubert Marsha Schubert welcome to the Jamaican cooking journey family and you're the second post notification shout out and the last one is Alison Lawrence Alison Lawrence you seem to be Lawrence Alison Lawrence yes you are a new member of the Jamaican cooking journey family welcome to the fam bam thanks for making it this far and if you have made it this far with me in the video I just want to say that's off to you we are nearing 7,000 subs and this is our youngest channel thanks for the love thanks for the support right across our four channels and tell me what you know about cleaning up the freezer again talk to me in the comment section please talk let's talk we're all women we know how to clean up and find some little something and make dinner so and until we see you again on this camera it's gonna be what camera girl ciao bye